Hey guys, thank you so much for joining me. I am so super excited about this video. I have many wonderful friends on YouTube. I have communicated and I have met some fantastic ladies and the support system has been awesome. But these two ladies, I think because we talk almost every single day, we have met in real life, these two ladies just I don't know that to me they're extremely special and that's not that the rest of you aren't special you are but I am doing this collaboration I don't even want to call it a collaboration because we just decided we did this I think we did something similar last year and I know a lot of people are doing their favorites and all that but I'm so excited to do that to do this with these two ladies so if you're interested stay tuned <laughs> Twenty twenty, what you know, as you all know, this twenty twenty has been a, you know, a crappy year for many, 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 many reasons for many of us, and I know that a lot of us have gone through some of the same issues, the same dilemmas, and we're all living through this political climate that's been horrible, COVID that's been horrible, and throughout the year we've tried to find little bits and pieces of something that can make us feel good. At least I know I have. So 2020, it's hard to say what have my favorites been, but I'm more inclined to what are those things that I have so enjoyed in 2020. And that's what I'm going to share with you today. And I'm going to share this with you with two special ladies. One is simply Sheila. Sheila has been on YouTube for a while. She hasn't been on recently in, in quite a while. We're, so I'm super, super excited that she's coming back today in this video. I'm going to, sh I'm going to link her video and um, she's going to share with you her favorites. And the other is Marlene Fab and Glam or Marlene's Wig and Chat Studio, depending if you're following Marlene for Wig Talk or Beauty Talk. Anyways, both of these ladies are extra special to me and both of them, I think, have added such so much to my life especially this past year so one of my number one favorites is going to be this app called Voxer and Vox allows you to sort of do a um, it's almost like a walkie-talkie where you can actually leave voice messages without calling in without using you know long distance or without having to go on a phone or going through voicemail you can just open up the app and you can leave a message for that person and I use Voxer with Jay, I use Voxer with Marlene and Sheila. We communicate daily like that. We leave little notes, little encouragements, little this and that, tidbits and all that. So Voxer for me has been an amazing, amazing feel good app. And I am so, so happy that I have these two ladies that I can box with nearly in every single day. So that has been an amazing thing. It's free. I mean, you can do the pro version, but it's free, it's easy, and it makes communication pretty instantaneous. They also do it with the J. And the cool thing is that with, you know, with um, whoever you leave that message to, you can see if they're actually listening to the message. Even if they're not answering, you can see that the message was either downloaded to their system or they actually listened to it. So when I leave Jay a message like, say, honey, here's a honey-do list, he can't ignore it. <laughs> I can see that he listened to it. So I really, really like it. So that's been a major, I think, thing that has really enhanced my life this past year. I never really expected it to be such a huge part of my life as it is. The second thing that's a huge part of my life, and this is all tech related right now, and it's not going to be, I'm gonna go into beauty in a minute, but the second thing has been the application called Zoom. You know, I mean, I've been able to do Zoom classes for work. I've been able to do Zoom meetings and I could continue to work through the shutdown from home because real estate was essential and so making sure that we could communicate with the agents, that we could keep them trained, that we could put on classes, all of it via Zoom really made it really, made it really great. But the beauty about Zoom is that Jay and I can Zoom with his son in Atlanta and his fiance and his stepmother in Florida. We can, we can have many people come into a Zoom session 
or we could just have a one-on-one -on -one Zoom session and we can actually see each other in real time and talk to each other. So even though Zoom is a cool business app, it's also been an awesome personal app in a way for us to communicate with family at a distance. So Zoom has been a huge, huge, I think, benefit for 2020 for us. The the one thing, and I was like, oh my gosh, I have always wanted a fire pit in our yard, always. And over the course of time, I've never had a fire pit. And then when we go camping, we have like campfires, we do this, we do that. But I've never really had a, a fire pit in our yard. So this year, Jay put together a fire pit. You know, leveled the ground, put the blocks in, set up the fire pit. And we enjoyed campfires in our backyard a lot so we gathered wood up we chopped wood we have a lot of you know broken branches and the woods around us so we had a lot of brush that we could do and and uh, he got a saw and he was able to chop it all up and we had so many wonderful evenings by the campfire this summer and on the occasion we had a cocktail or two sitting out there but in general we just sat out there and watched the fire and we just totally relaxed we also we put bird feeders up we had hummingbird feeder and nothing has made me happier than being able to sit in my back porch and look out through the screens, the birds and the bird feeders. And we had struggles with squirrels and chipmunks and moving them out and greasing the pole and making so that the squirrel couldn't get at the food or the chipmunk and, and all of that. But oh my gosh, have we enjoyed watching our birds in the backyard. As silly as it might sound to you, it's so soothing at times to watch them fly around, to hear them, the birds chirping, just nature. And we also put up a hummingbird feeder. So I haven't been able to really capture hummingbirds on video as much as I would like, but I have. It's been awesome. So definitely my fire pit, the hummingbird feeder, the bird feeders, and just, you know, that has been, while we were homebound, and not able to go out that has really kept our sanity kept us calm kept us enjoying everything around us so definitely in my top favorites of 2020 a few other things that have really saved me while we we're homebound i because you can't go to the hairdressers so um, i have discovered the l'oreal magic root cover-up and i've talked about these in previous videos I love these because I could just spray my gray. If I wasn't going to be putting a wig on, I have a wig on right now. This is Henry Magus Farah. I really like this style a lot. But if I wasn't wearing this, I would probably be touching up my gray with this root spray. And many times, that's exactly what I've done. I have a darker one and a lighter one. And now I'm going to get a blonder one as well. But this is fantastic for covering up those grays that pop through, unless you want to go gray, that's one thing, but it has just really been awesome. Really enjoyed that a whole lot. I don't know, you know, lipstick is funny this year because I wear a mask all the time. And so that said, I have a lot of masks. Majority of these masks I got from Carol, from the O'Carroll show. Her son had done them and I love them. They're super comfortable, they're different colors. I also had a girl at work that was making masks. I also bought a few masks, but yeah, you know, you have to think about it right now as much as you hate to think about a mask being a fashion statement, but new face, this hands down is the number one thing for me this year. Since I've been using this, I have been, I've been using it very, very consistently and I have seen a difference. I have seen a little bit of a difference. Not a huge dramatic difference, but I have seen a difference. And I think it's the same, you know, concept for the more you use something consistently, the more your muscles react to it. And when you stop using it, your muscles kind of... So, New Face, I love it. I've been using it. I've been very, very consistent. It's been fantastic. I don't think that I would stop using it at all. Other things that I've used this year that I absolutely love is my water pick. Love my water pick. I never thought I would get into it, but I have Sheila to thank for this. I ended up getting this water pick, and it's a water flosser. It it has a high and a low, and you fill the water reservoir, and you just after you you know after you use your pick, then you go ahead and do the water flossing. I love it, and also I have the Sonic brush. This is the one from Burst. This was sent to me complimentary for review. 
I really love it. I, I, I would not, in fact, recently on a coupon sale, I had such a great deal that I bought J1. I love this. My Apple earbuds, I keep them in this little plastic container and you can charge it here. And I have this clipped so that I always find them. I listen to a lot of audiobooks. This past year, if, if I didn't have these Apple earbuds, I think I would have went nutty a little bit because I listen to audiobooks, I listen to podcasts, I'm always listening, and this way I can listen without disturbing Jay or anyone else around me. Definitely, definitely a favorite. And then the two cosmetic products that I really like, I've been using the Natasha Denona Glam Palette. And since I bought this, I've been using this mostly for a softer look. And I'm actually kind of really liking the softer look. I like the softer look a lot. And um, I've been enjoying it. So I don't know if you would consider this a softer look, but I do. So the Natasha Denona Glam Palette. And the next one is going to be my Smashbox. And this is another one, thanks to Sheila. And this is the Contour Bronzer and the Highlighter. I love this. Now, love, I'm not a powder gal. I, I even hesitate to mention this because I really don't have anything to compare it to. But I have bought a lot of powders. Not so much as a setting powder per se, but maybe to de-shine a little bit or to help set my makeup a little bit more maybe. But uh, I haven't found one that has been as nice as this one powder that I'm going to mention. Again, I'm not a powder person per se, but I have a number of different powders from IT Cosmetics, from high end to low end to mid end that I've tried. And some of them just kind of, I look really dry. They go into my crevices. They, they don't make, I don't feel like my skin looks good with them. But this one, amazingly, amazingly, this is a light illusion perfecting powder and it's from flower beauty you can get this at walmart you can get this at cvs i believe uh, anywhere that you can get flower beauty and i have the light shade porcelain and i'll tell you i put it on my face and it does it kind of gives me a little of veal over a veal is that what it, like, I can tell that it's putting an illusion of light over my face. It's brightening up my skin, but it isn't looking chalky. It doesn't look chalky. So I'm really in love with this powder. I really am. I've been using it for quite a while this year, but because I'm not a powder person, I really have nothing to compare it to, but out of the ones that I've tried, hands down, and I think when I got this, it was on sale. I think I paid like about six bucks. Maybe even less. The, the other thing is going to be my Serenity bracelets. These Serenity bracelets, these were created and sold through Marlene Fab and Glam's daughter, Stephanie. I'll link the information. I bought these last year. Was it last year? Um, she, she created this after, you know, her brother passed away. Serenity bracelets sort of a memorandum for her brother John. And I love these beads. I have some pretty purples. I wear these a lot. I may not talk about them a lot, but sometimes these are the last things I put on when I leave the house for the day. So my Serenity bracelets have been, I think, super, super awesome. I love them. Absolutely love them. Just like I love my Apple Watch. <laughs> my Apple Watch, I have the two, I think, um, or maybe the one, but I'd love to get the new one. I just don't have it. I, this one is still going strong. I love my Apple Watch. It's so pretty. This is a, you know, just replaceable band. I have the pearls on now and for the holiday. I really love them. And this is just a crystal bracelet. I have a number of crystal bracelets. My beautiful niece. I love this one. And this one from my mom. So those are my little, and I know I'm going to mess up on the name, Swartzkies. Those are my bracelets. Now, I'm not too sure if I have it all. I think, I think I'm not too sure if I mentioned the Hydro Masks from City Beauty. Hands down, my favorite sheet masks. Hands down, the ones I've used the most. I really like these a lot. I, I think when I put these on my face, my skin feels so super good afterwards. I really love them a lot. So, lastly, is gonna bring you to my wigs. My wigs have been a lifesaver this year for me. 
especially with COVID. And so even though I've been able to put my own bio hair up and I've been able to spray the roots and do things to make my own bio hair look better, I, um, I look way better in my wigs. So my wigs have been one of my favorites of 2020. I am totally blessed to have had a number of wigs sent to me complimentary for review. And I've also purchased wigs. I have a number of different wigs that I really, really love. I'm not a wig model and I'm not a wig reviewer per se. I'm just like you are, you know, I have I have my body issues, my body shape, and I think sometimes it's really good to be able to see a wig not be on that stock picture on a website because, for example, this wig on their website, I, I don't know that I would have ordered it, but I love this wig in real life, yet the website picture would never inspire me to order this wig. Parting words will be, because this is going to be published on the 19th, and I may have a video that comes up before Christmas, but I'm not too sure if I will or not. But if I don't, I'm going to wish you and yours, however you celebrate the holidays, I'm going to wish you and yours a wonderful, wonderful holiday. And I certainly hope 2021 is better for us all. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you go check out Sheila's. Make sure you go check out Marlene's video. And if you are joining me from Sheila or Marlene's channel, thank you. Love to you all. Bye-bye.